you know, brutally disappointed that we didn't get a win, you know, especially for our kids. You know, I just thought, you know, we're better, better, we're better team. We just left, uh, you know, we a bunch of missed opportunities offensively to score points. To it wouldn't have come down to that, you know. And, but I thought our kids just played their hearts out. And defensively, I thought the same thing. I mean, I, I looked; they got 320 yards, and I guess they got 75 on the last drive of the day. Um, you know, did everything I asked them to do. I, I uh, but again, it, it just came down to. And at first, I'll give them credit. I mean, they made plays when they had to to, to win the football game. It was the kind of game I thought it would be. Um, you know, Jace Wilson played well. You know, tough start, took a couple of really bad shots, um, one of which finally got called um, from upstairs. But, um, you know, and then, and then I just got to say, I just told our team, I just – you know, I, I, I should have missed I should have managed that last offensive possession better. There's no way, you know, we we make the first down there. And I, at worst, we're going to probably burn half the clock or two minutes down and maybe force them to use some timeouts and, um, you know, instead of putting it down there and giving them a little bit more time and letting them keep all their timeouts. And for that, I, I apologize to them. But, uh, but like I said, just couldn't be proud of our kids and how they played just uh, – you know, at the end of the day, we, we didn't we didn't score enough points, and uh, we couldn't get a stop. And and then that's just that's uh, that's football, that's life, and uh, you know certainly disappointing. With that, fire away, uh, coach. Obviously, they have a really dynamic running tandem. Uh, you held them kind of in check for much of the game. Do you think your defense got tired in the second half? As the offense had it for less than 10 minutes in the second half. They probably did. I mean, now they had what two long, two long drives. I mean, the last drive was only four, I guess, four minutes, but um, they were out there. I'm, I'm sure they did. Uh, 71 plays. I, I'm guessing the last drive was probably 14 or 15 of them. Um, you know, we didn't play many plays in the first half. I thought I heard it at the half, maybe 20. Did I hear 27 plays? One of our coaches say. So a bunch of plays there in the second half. And, you know, they kept the ball. They did a good job. Obviously, they made a few adjustments um, where they would move the ball on. Had the two long drives. Had a couple other drives where we got stops. And, uh, you know, it's funny. I felt like we were, we were moving moving the ball offensively. We knew we couldn't turn it into an inside drill. And um, it's just just the killer, though. It's just the missed points, you know. we The first drop after the – you know, we get and then we take a sack and don't even get a field goal attempt after we cause the fumble on the kickoff. Then we catch another one, same end zone over there, out of bounds. And I may be wrong, but I think we just reach up and grab the ball instead of letting it come into our body. We catch that in, in bounds. And then the the throwback, you know, was was a great call, just poorly executed and then underthrown because he went too far and you know, we ends up we get no points there. So it, it uh, you know, that's just. Uh, I mean, in the day, that's 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 the game. You know, that that's the game. And uh, regardless of giving them, you didn't love to get a stop there at the end. But boy, we played played our hearts out defensively. Other other than third down, we weren't. You know, just look here. They were ten or fifteen on third down, and I think other than third down, and a couple of those were third and longs. Uh, other than that, I thought. I thought we played played really well. Clay, uh, I was sitting there watching the game, and I kept thinking about what you said about missing layups, about having open plays. But I also know that one of the things that aggravates that is that if you look, both teams played great defense, but what East Tennessee had was balance. And the Furman averaged less than three yards a run, and it was a close game, and so – that sort of they had that to fall back on. It makes the layups a little harder. Yeah, it does. It does. I, I won't argue with that. I mean, we um, won't argue with that. If uh, you know, like I said, I, I knew uh, the strength of the defense is up right up front, and uh, you know, I mean, uh, we had the drive there at the very end, first first down from the ten. We ran outside zone and got. Blocked it good, stuck it up there, and the safety hit us at the line of scrimmage, you know. And 
which that's that's college football 2021, you know, and uh, which we try to do that too, you know, but obviously the strength there, you know, obviously their size probably wore on us a little bit later as the game went on. Both backs are big, um, probably just the size they use the tight ends. They're built a little differently than we are um, in lots of ways. Their school's built a little differently than ours is, you know, and so um, – I think that was probably, you know, and I mean, that's how they, that's how they win games. You know, that's how they, that's their style of play. And it's, you know, it's control the ball, um, you know, really big up front backs are big, use two tight ends a bunch. They're both, you know, big, big guys. Um, and they do enough in the other part of the game. You know, obviously they showed you they could do it there at the end of the game. And, um, but yeah, I don't argue with you there. And, um, you know, I, I think it's just a little bit where we are. Um, you know, certain games we're going to match up a little bit better in the run game than other games. But obviously, today I knew I knew that was going to be tough, and um, I thought we mixed you know the play action well off of what we did. You know, just had like I said, uh, you know, just left some plays on the field. And like I said, you know, I say the layups. When I'm talking about the layups, I'm talking about the ones that are you know the wide opens that we got to hit or catch or. You know, they, hit yeah, I'm not, you know, I'm not, you know, but it's, they're pretty good design deals. We get, but we got to execute them and, and we should be able to execute them. And, um, and that, that's the thing that just, you know, shows up, you know, from time to time. And, uh, and that was obviously a big part of the game today. Uh, coach, um, I know it's obviously a, a tough loss, um, particularly, uh, for Jace Wilson, but on, in the same respect, um, do you think you and he himself learned a little bit about toughness today and how will that help him, do you feel, going forward um, the rest of the year? Yeah, I mean, I obviously, you know, they, you know, he took one under the chin and they were trying to, you know, patch him up and uh, took a couple of those. And, uh, you know, obviously I hadn't seen him where he's been hit lots and lots. But I hadn't really questioned his toughness, and I, I told him told him yesterday, you know, I just wanted him to be able to go play and not worry about us, you know, he makes a mistake, he does something, we're gonna win. I told him that, and then uh, and I was proud of him, you know. I, I thought, you know, yeah, there's some plays I'd love for him to have back, but the, the only way you get better at doing that is doing it, you know. I think their kid, their kid now has started in three different football seasons. I think he's a I don't know if he's a redshirt sophomore, but he started in three different seasons now. He started in uh, I guess it was 19 in the spring of 21 and now the fall of 21, you know, so he's only going to get better. Um, we'll continue to try to do things that help him be successful and, and play off his strengths. And obviously, I mean, like I said, that's a tough sign up for anybody, especially a young guy in that, that situation going against that defense. And uh, I thought, I thought he played well. Coach, two quick things on the defense. Um, you know, you got so many sacks early. Were they doing something different um, to kind of control that? And then on that last touchdown, obviously a lot easier said than done, but you ever talk to the guys about, hey, if you, your guy gets loose, just tackle him in that situation? <laughs> uh, they probably hadn't talked about that, you know, but, um, but you know, I, I don't – without just Scott looking at it, I think they certainly kept some, kept a few more people in to protect a little bit where there weren't quite as many single one-on-ones there in the second half. And – um, you know, I, I, they do a good job coaching. I'm, they're like everybody else. They're going to try to make some adjustments. And, um, you know, our defense came out, you know, we thought the big, <clears throat> biggest drive of the whole game was going to be that second half drive. We got to stop and then had a great drive to go down there and score. Um, you know, it's a game of adjustments. And um, – but, I, you know, like I said, our guys – yeah, I, I think I, I looked the other day. They're one of the top ten teams in the country in the least sacks allowed. And we had what six, and most of them in the first half. And you know, so obviously our guys did some did some good stuff, and I'm sure they made some adjustments. Okay. All right. Hey, I got uh, Ryan Miller here, and then Parker Stokes will be joining too. Come on, Parker. You can come Hey, Ryan, uh, obviously a tough one today, um, yeah. you know, kind of spoils a big day for you. Um, you know, can the offense build off anything that they did that 
you know, positive, like in the, in the past game against pretty tough defense? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, you know, they, I mean, they, they had a good defense. Obviously, we need that going in. Um, you know, we put a, put a lot of good plays in this week, and I, I just feel like we didn't um, execute, you know, most of the time during the game. Um, you know, I just I think we got to be better um, in all phases, especially in offense. Um, making plays, helping our defense. You know, defense played great today. Um, you know, we just got to – we got when we get those opportunities, we just got to put it in the end zone, so. How has your relationship with Jace um, grown? Um, obviously, you and Ham had that connection, or, you know, and are you feeling the same kind of thing growing with Jace? Yeah, I mean, you know, he's a, he's a young guy. You know, this is only his – um third game starting. So I think he's learning um, the offense as we go every week. Um, I think we're starting to develop that um, connection, you know, that I have with Hamp as well. Um, I feel like I have a <clears throat> um, good connection with both of them. You know, it's just, you know, who's ever in the game, you know, just try to do my best to help them out and um, they'll help me out. So. Fine. Couldn't get unmuted there. This league is obviously everybody knew it. Didn't just find out today. It's very balanced. There were five teams with one team going in a day. Now you put a lot of emphasis because you know that if you get a win, you emerge above it. Mm -hmm. But there's no reason that it can't all just dissolve. There's still enough time for it to dissolve down into two losses because most people can. But I mean, where do you go from here? I mean, you have to kind of sort of can't control your own destiny, but you mm. have to maximize so you try to take advantage of any opportunity that arises in a balanced league. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously this game was very important um, to us. This was for the top spot in SoCon. But I think our um, I think our mentality is we just got to move forward, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, we lost, it sucks, but we just got, we got to move forward. We can't be like, you know, hey, we lost that game. We're probably not going to win the SoCon anymore. You know, we just got to, push through that and um, go into these next four games, um, wanting, to, wanting to win each each one of them. So I think our mentality just got to be, we just got to play even harder and go and go win, go win out in the rest of the season and just see what happens. You know, you know, like, like you said, our, you know, our destiny is not in our hands anymore. We, we're going to have to rely on some, some things to happen. But I mean, I think we just, just go out, play our best. When you can't rise where games. others can fall. You can't rise where others can fall. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you, you might be able to take advantage of the fact that yeah. like I said, you can't win it on your own, but others can fall back. Yes, sir. But I mean, we, we can't, we can't worry about other teams right now. You know, we just got to focus on ourselves and focus on these next four games and not even the next four. We just got to focus on the next game ahead, which is Chattanooga. So we got to prepare for them. They're a good team. Thank you. Um, Ryan, would you just talk about, uh, I guess this was uh, Chase's third start. Would you talk about how he's grown as far as a leader in the huddle um, and, and in his leadership at, as a quarterback? Yeah, you know, like <clears throat> like I said, he's a young guy. And, you know, the the Wofford game, you know, he really stepped up. Um, he had a great game. Um, you know, the last last couple of games have been a little shaky. But, I mean, I think he's I think he's fitting the role well. Um, and he's doing the best the best to his ability. You know, he, on the sidelines, he's, uh, you know, dapping people up, like trying to get them up. So I mean, I think I think he's really grown into a, um, a nice young leader. We're good. Thank you, guys. Oh, wow, Look at my hair. Hey, Parker. Um, obviously, uh, you know, you had a challenge today with two of the leading rushers in the country, PTSU, and uh, it seemed like early on the defense. Um, you know, you get them in a passing situation and y'all were all over him. What was kind of the key to some of the things y'all did well today, especially with the sacks? Uh, honestly, I think we were just focused on working moves and just we knew that uh, if we put pressure on the quarterback, he'd either throw the ball up or give us a sack. And that's what we were trying to do pretty much all day. So it just kind of worked out for us there in the first half. You know, this, it looked like today, it's, how do you go about when, you know, you get that kind of pressure, but you can't get the turnover? How, how frustrating is that? Because I know 
some of the success the defense has had this year has been based off the turnover? Uh, it's pretty frustrating, but you can't really focus on the outcome. You just got to keep moving forward, honestly, and just keep stacking plays after plays. Um, hopefully it works out in the end. Thanks, Parker. Uh, Parker, this defensive line's played a lot of games together. Um, obviously, I thought today was one of the better performances maybe of, of you guys collectively of your careers. Um, just talk about what it's been like to play with these guys and, and line up alongside them throughout your career. Uh, well, London, Landon, Cujo, they've been here since – me and Landon and London have been here since 2017. We've been just going through it. And Bryce Stanfield, he's a freshman, but he's kind of fit in and – He's really stepped up into his role, and it's just been – we have a good chemistry in the room. Our coach is awesome. We uh, we just all have a good camaraderie, and we have – we compete. We we joke. We just, I just feel like we do it all right, and I just feel like it shows up out there on Saturday. I feel like we just all are together. And, and a follow-up to that, um, I know today's loss is, is tough, but – does does having that camaraderie help keep the fun alive going forward in, into the season? Definitely, because I mean, if you if you don't have good camaraderie in your room and uh, y'all aren't all together or on the same page, a, a loss is going to take a blow to your room. And it's just you, everyone has each other's backs, and it's easy to uh, kind of bounce back from a loss when you have people that are supporting you, like we do in the D line room. Uh-huh.